Nice to meet you. I am Navia, the esteemed president, leader, commander in chief, executive director, and boss of Spina di Rosula. You strike me as somebody special, a person of character. Something tells me that this is the beginning of a long partnership between us, perhaps even as long as all the titles in front of my name. <laughs> Some people call me boss, others demoiselle, but none of that does anything for me. My favorite thing to be called is partner, but only by you, of course. So just know that my vainer side would be over the moon if you could indulge me a little more often. I always say that blind optimism isn't the answer. If you want a bright future, you have to go out and seize it with your own two hands. So come over here. Now, take my hands in yours, and give them a good shake! There! <laughs> See? Doesn't that feel good? The Spina's work is basically... Uh, well, a little bit of everything. But the focus is always on solving other people's problems. Oh, <laughs> that probably makes it sound worse than it is, though. Sure, I'm making other people's problems my own, but I always get a real boost out of being able to help people. Oh, I've loved baking ever since I was a child. Don't you think it's magical? You throw a bunch of random ingredients together in the right amounts, put the mixture in the oven, and then just watch as it slowly balloons up and transforms into a delicious treat. Hey, do you want to make gingerbread together sometime? We can make it into a fun little competition. See who can build the biggest, most beautiful gingerbread house. Do you believe that wishes can come true? You know, like when you toss a coin into the fountain for good luck? As long as you throw enough coins in, one of your wishes is sure to come true, right? Well, anyway, today's your birthday, so I'm not leaving anything to chance. I've got a whole bag of Mora here dedicated to making your birthday wish come true. Whatever you want, I'll do everything in my power to make it happen. My time with Espina has taught me that carrying an unreliable weapon is worse than not carrying one at all. Ugh, I really want to go traveling. I don't mind where we go, as long as I have my friends with me. <laughs> <sighs> it's raining again. <gasps> Quick, look! Up in the sky! Look at that scorching sun! It's like a blast furnace! You know what this means? It means we have to drop everything right now and make a run for the ice cream store. We need to get two of the biggest cones they sell, and then it's an all-out race to see who can finish before it melts. Maybe I should take off my hat and let the snowflakes fall onto my face. I feel like that would be really refreshing. Ah! Oh, I should have covered my ears when I saw the flash. Uh, I do love Spina di Rosula's logo. It was designed by my mother. Have you noticed how it's shaped like a heart? Come on now. Time to empty your mind and get a good night's sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. In the headlines tonight, President of Spina di Rosula in awesome mood after spending another fantastic day with her favorite partner. I've heard about this weird new kind of lasagna that's just come out. You want to try it together? Sounds like it'll taste pretty strange, but I still gotta try it. Morning. Any plans for the day yet? If not... Why don't you hang out with me? Sunglasses are great at keeping the sand out of your eyes so you can see your way. Except at night. Then you can't see anything at all. My favorite dog breed of all is the Chestnut Hunting Hound. You know how they have the little spots above their eyes? Oh, they look just like eyebrows, don't they? That's why they look so innocent and earnest all the time. <laughs> Please keep this a secret for me, though. I don't want to hurt the other dog's feelings. If you've spent long enough in the Fleuve Sandra, you might have noticed that there are a lot of other groups in Fontaine besides the Spina di Rosula. Beware of them. They each have their own agenda, and they're not all friendly like us. If you ever find yourself in a tight spot, you can always ask Mr. Tetro at the bar for help. 
unless you're dealing with someone who isn't in the mood to sit down and have a conversation. In which case, White Glove will sort things out. You can count on him. Uh, I really love the Pluey Lotus. It's such a beautiful color. Plus, when you see them in full bloom, it's a sure sign that the rainy season is finally over. Ugh. Cleaning up after baking a cake is a nightmare. The flour just gets everywhere, and the leftover egg whites and cream go all sticky and gross. I'll, um... I'll just go find a helper. I like trying new things, for the surprise factor. But before you question my sense of taste, let me clarify that just because I can appreciate the novelty in a dish doesn't mean I'm claiming it tastes amazing. I never enjoy leftovers that have been left too long. It just feels like sacrilege to neglect the poor food when it's fresh, then eat after it's gone stale. This is some incredible cooking. <laughs> Next time we head out together, looks like I should carry the ingredients and cookware and let you be the chef. Mm, not bad. Next time you cook the food and I'll plate it. Then it'll look as good as it tastes. Oh, <laughs> uh, don't feel discouraged. The world needs people who aren't afraid to innovate. <sighs> Finally, the rain has stopped. Ah, my hat! Uh, no, my skirt! Oh, don't make me choose! <laughs>